In this example, I want to show you how to configure firewall rules to incorporate a guest network in your Ubiquiti environment. So my edge router is over here. I already configured all of my interfaces. I have the each server interface on the WAN side, 2001, with a default gateway going out to my simulated internet here. And on the LAN side, I have the eat one interface sitting in the 10 range. So this is my trusted LAN on which an XP machine is present sitting at dot 10. I also have my E2 interface in the 172.16 network, and this is basically my guest network range on which a, I'm pretending that there's a unified access point sitting here, but it's actually just a Xubuntu Linux machine. However, for our purposes, it would work just fine. So with this guest access, we ideally want to limit them to have access to the internet only. So we want, to be, want them to be able to traverse the device and go out to the internet, and we want that traffic being allowed back towards them so they can visit web pages and stuff like that. We also want to limit access to the device for DHCP and DNS only. So we do not want our Wi-Fi clients here. We won't, don't want them to access the management interface like the web page or the, the shell, telnet, SSH, stuff like that. We don't want them to access that. We just want them to get a DHCP address and use our router for DNS services, and again, for going out to the internet. So we want to block access for these guests to our LAN ranges. So we don't want them to access our trusted hosts here. However, we do want them to respond to requests from our LAN ranges. So let's say I have a management station sitting on my LAN range here, I, uh, and I want to manage these access points, or I want to reach these hosts for troubleshooting or something like that. I do want that traffic being allowed to them, and I want to return traffic being allowed back. So only if we initiate traffic on this side, we are basically being allowed to the LAN range from the guest uh, network's perspective. So let's get started on the configuration. So I'm going to do most of this stuff in the command line. I have another video that focuses more on using the GUI. So we have our firewall network group with our basic uh, default network range is 192.168, 172.16, and a 10 range. And we have this guest to LAN uh, firewall policy. Well, actually, it should actually be guest to LAN plus WAN because it will apply to both of those ranges. So we have our default action accept. So if you don't want to use this, then you can create basically two policies, one for guest to LAN and one for uh, guest to WAN. But in this case, this works just fine as well. We have to set rule one for uh, the established state. So that is the one I was talking about that we do want the uh, return traffic to the LAN to be allowed. And the rest we're basically just dropping. So anything that is initiated here, we're linking that to that network group that we define here. So we're blocking, dropping all of that traffic. Then we have our guest to local firewall policy. This one applies to DNS and DHCP. And we have a default action drop here, so we cannot manage the device, HTTPS or SSH. However, we do want them to respond to pings from, let's say, the edge router here. And we want DNS services to be allowed to the device, and we want uh, DHCP services allowed to the device. That's why these are destination ports, not source ports. So this established related status in here because we might want to ping host from our edge router or we want to telnet or SSH to something else on this uh, Wi-Fi network. And also if we're giving out DHCP addresses, the edge router might ping one of those addresses, see if it's available. And if these clients are not allowed to respond, then uh, we might give out the wrong address. So that's why this established related state is in here as well. So we have our default WAN to LAN rule. If you want more information about that, I have a bunch of videos about it. But that basically uh, is again that established related state that we can go out to the internet to visit a web page and the traffic is allowed back to either the LAN or the guest network. Hosts on the internet will not be able to establish uh, traffic or initiate traffic unless it is a response to one of our internal hosts. So that's that WAN to LAN rule. And you notice I'm applying it on the inbound direction and the local interface of my eat zero external address. So if I do just this in one go, then basically hosts on the internet will not be able to manage the device either. So that's why I'm also applying it in the local direction. So that applies to the device itself and in and out apply to traffic that is going through the firewall. So I also have this miscellaneous settings for my DHCP server already set this up. And because the device is also a DNS server, it will for listen on E1 and E2. And you can forward that to a name server of your choice. In this case, I'm using the Google DNS here. So let's get started in configuration. I have my eat zero interface at slash 24. So that's already been configured. And if I go set a baseline, I am on the internet right now, 2002, or I'm pretending that this PC is the internet. And I should be able to man to reach the external address of my edge router here. That is working just fine. So if I go to a host on my trusted LAN, this is XP machine sitting at 10.0010. Then I should be able to ping the edge router, of course, and I can also ping through the edge router and reach my 
Xuban to host on the other side in the 172.16 guest network. So if I go to my Xubuntu machine here, I can see that this is at 172.16.0.10. And likewise, I can ping my XP machine on the uh, LAN network. So this is specifically what I want to block. And I also want to be able to block the, uh, the pings to 172.16.1. So I don't want them to be able to reach the device unless we are initiating traffic on our trusted host or from our edge router itself. So let's get started in the configuration. So I'm placing in this firewall group and then pasting in this stuff. So I have to go back to the top every time I do this because I'm using the edits here because it's, uh, I don't get that long line. So it's easier to fit in the screen. I have my rule here for guest to local. And once that is done applying, I can set my default when to land rule. And the final thing is to apply this to interfaces because if we create firewall rules and don't use them, then they are basically not doing anything unless we apply them somewhere. So I can do a show compare. So here you can see exactly what I'm putting in the configuration. So you might want to pause the screen if you want to read this, all of this, but that is basically the configuration. So if I commit this, this will start working and I will be able to go to my host and get a DHP address and start um, testing my firewall rules basically. So let me start on my XP host. So let me just say I want to get a DHP address here because why not? It's set statically right now. So let's do this. And I also want to do that on my Xubuntu host. So let me do a DH client for each zero. And I should be able to get a DHP address on this interface, hopefully, after if everything's working just fine. So let me open up a browser here as well and let me check my firewall rules. So I wanted, I like doing this from the browser because it gives me a clear oversight and I can see exactly all of the packets that arrive on these uh, interfaces. So I go to firewall net, firewall policies, and let me start with the, let's, let's start with the WAN to LAN policy. So you can see here, I applied it to these interfaces or yeah, my WAN interface and my stats here. I can see that my default action is dropping something. So let's try that ping again. So this was working before. However, now we can see that our counter is going up. So it is established related state. If we go to my edge router and let me run a ping to 2002, that is being allowed now because that is initiated from the edge router itself. And here we can see that we get some hits on this rule. So that is working just fine. So let me do my guess to local rule next. Let me cancel this. And we have our main rules here. So you can see I always get some hits on this DHP rule. That's because I just gave the Xubuntu machine a DHP address. So let me go here and clear the screen. And if I do if config eat zero, I can see that I'm over to 172.16.0.10. So I can also see that if I go to services and then DHP and view my leases, I can see I have my Xubuntu machine here and I also have some other guests on this network that I previously set up. So we'll test pings from this later on. So if I go back to my firewall rules, firewall policies, guess the local again for the stats. You can see I also get some hits on this DNS rule and I should also have a hit on this established rule. So let me go to my Xubuntu machine and run my pings again. So if I ping 172.16.1, you can see that this is timing out. It's no longer working. If I try to ping the LAN range, which was working before, this is the internal address of the edge router that's not working as well. I can ping my XP machine sitting at 10.0.0.10. 0, 0, 10. Well, before I do that, I actually have to check because I gave this an IP uh, DHP address that I'm actually at 10.0.0.10 0, 0, 10, and here we go. Uh, so, however, if I ping from this side, 172.16.0.1, the internal address of the edge router, that is allowed. And if I ping the Xubuntu machine, that is allowed as well. And you can see that is established, or I'm looking at the wrong rule. Uh, if I go here for guest to LAN, you can see that this established one is going up. So it's four packets right now. And if I go to my, uh, do another ping, so four more, this should go up to eight. And you can see that this one is increasing as well, 41, 42. That is because this ping on the uh, Xubuntu machine is still running. So if I cancel this, these type of packets should stop as well. So we have our default action accept. So my Xubuntu host should be able to go out to the internet and the traffic should be allowed back. So that is that default rule accept. And we can see that the traffic is going up as well for this default action. 
So we can see that this is working fine as well. And of course, I will also be able to ping the other hosts on my LAN on the wireless network that is allowed just fine because that's not really going through the edge router. So 13 works and I think the other one was 14. So we have full reachability in our gas network. However, when we try to go to, through the device, we're only allowed to the internet and we're basically being dropped in this network group. So let me check this guest to local policy again. And we can see that we have some uh, hits, DHCP, DNS, and also this established one. So if I go to the device itself and if I run ping 172.0.10, you can see I'm getting some hits here as well. And if I go back, I can see that I'm getting some hits on this established state. So that is helpful for troubleshooting or if we want to give out DHCP addresses and the router wants to ping an address, we do want this established state in here. So all, link in the description for all of my config files. This is basically how we can limit guest access to the LAN, to our trusted LAN and just send them out to the internet. So that's basically it. Thank you for your time.